Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of my trophy lock series. This is the series where we keep track of our most prized possessions. In the last episode we managed to catch a new trophy and winding rivulet which was the infamous Donnets Rough. In this episode we are heading to a new lake but before we do that this is the fun spot segment of the video where I try your fishing spots. Our fun spot today is located on Quarry Lake on the deepest parts of it. So to go to this spot I grabbed the two lures from the shop, I bought a boat ticket and got to fishing. From this route you can catch quite a few different species like perch, arctic char, lake trout, vendors, rainbow trout and grayling. In less than 30 minutes and most of it was actually being spooled we made 50 silver which is great. I will get that again next time and get back here and I can bet we can make a lot more money. Thank you all for the bait donations i really appreciate it by the way i also have a real life fishing channel if you want to check that content then link is down below i have a lot of new videos coming up i just need to edit them and the wheel is giving us oldberg okay this is fun we can actually try for carp the spot i'm fishing at right now is at 2167 i use clip size 17 hook size 1 for the bait we have cocos and cream pop-up boilies we have cocos and cream corn and cocoa nectar tip on a pop-up boilie plus corn rig. I would also like to mention, I am no car fishing expert in this game. I'm no car fishing expert even in real life. I've had like zero carp in my whole life. Oh, nice. Seems like a good fish. Well, if crucians and gibbles count, then I've had carp, but otherwise, no carp. But it doesn't matter. I think we can learn together and get better together at the game. If you're at the same level as me, or if you're higher level, please leave me tips. I desperately need good tips. Anyways, I know a few spots. People have sent me some good carp fishing spots. I've scouted some myself, so I think we might be in luck in this episode and get some good fish. But if you look at this fish right now, even, it looks like a beauty. So let's see how big this is. It is a 7 kilo common carp that is a big fish okay this seems like another very nice fish and by the way what i've heard is right now on Oldberg, what works very well are like dairy baits and also lemon tasting baits for carps so right now we're testing with cocos and cream but later on we might test with some lemon baits but yeah this fish is actually fairly strong but it's coming in because uh this gear right now that we have is uh no match for the fish or uh, sorry i mean the fish is no match to the gear yeah because this rod and this reel is like extremely strong the fortuna rod and hsv reel let's see how big this carp is i think it's the same size yeah eight kilos still this is such a nice fish we've been so lucky you know what? While you're here, make sure to leave a like. And next up, what do we have on now? I really want to get some tench from this spot or maybe a surprise crucian or a gibble trophy. That would be absolutely awesome. But it seems like another common carp and not the tiniest one, but still a lot tinier than the previous two. Yeah, five kilos. So it's actually not that tiny even. And this is a smaller fish. And what are you? You are a tench. 1.5 kilos almost. That is a nice tench. We take that. Oh, what the heck? I got stuck. I can't get out of here. I think we have something way bigger on right now. This thing is just spooling us on our OP rods, which is super odd. But let's see. I think we can still get it in without a problem at the end of the day. But right now it is giving me a run. Also, I'm keeping the friction break like super low in the green area. So not putting too much pressure on the fish and not too much pressure on my equipment. But it is still running, which is like super odd. <laughs> Usually the carp have given up by now. So this must be like 10 kilos plus. I I hope or imagine if we get the trophy right now and be spooned so spooned but i don't think this is trophy trophy would be flying flying through the water right now and something is biting our third rod as well come on let's get this fish in quickly we have two more fish on i think yeah i think all rods have a fish on right now okay i'm gonna speed this part up and you guys can see the fish in the next clip what an absolute unit of a fish look at this chad this torpedo this is like 10 kilos plus for sure i think let's see oh yeah 14 kilo grass carp and 9000 exp that's why it was fighting so hard and we have to get the second rod out asap because something was uh, really trying to take it off the bank this is definitely not as big of a fish but uh we'll take it anyways it feels like it's stuck i think yeah let's uh walk to the fish this is like the easiest way this is just cheesing it i know but it's just faster and it is a common carp and seems like a decent one once again hopefully it's like around eight kilos again because those are pretty good money so it is time to sell all the fish we caught we have a common carp cafe order for 19 silver grass carp order for 39 silver and the rest of the keep net is worth 121 
one silver. So in total, we made 179 silver, which is not bad at all. This is actually pretty amazing. What is this fish? It's black like a knight. Oh, it's a black carp. Oh yeah, I totally forgot those are in the game. And this is a rare fish. So that's cool. Half a kilo black carp. Hopefully we get more of them and big ones. So I switched over to some lemon baits. I have lemon pop-up boilies and a lemon tip just to test it out. And what do we catch? A nice gibble carp trophy. Holy, this is 2.5 kilos. 1.9 kilo is a regular trophy and 3.2 is a blue tag. So we're kind of halfway towards the blue tag already. And you know, a few clips ago, I wanted a nice new black carp, a bigger one. We have received it 2.5 kilos and I have no idea why I had the menu on the background. So it's time to sell all of our fish once again. We have a common carp cafe order for 27 silver and the rest of the keep net is worth 122 silver. So in total, we made 149 silver, which is not bad at all. And by the way, this Gibble Carp trophy is worth quite a big part of the whole total sum we made. And as you can guess, we're back at the same spot. I did not switch my base. We are still using the same lemon and pop-up boilies and the lemon tip because this spot with these baits seems to be working amazingly. You saw the Gibble Carp trophy we got. I want that blue tag, okay? And also, we have a nice fish on once again. It tried to get off for a second because my line got slack, but it is still on and I think it's securely on. This seems like another grass carp, definitely not a common because it is zooming too much. Maybe it's a black carp. If it would be a black carp, I would be like extremely happy because this should be like a massive black carp. Well, this is definitely not a black carp, but it's cousin regular grass carp. And this is actually a fine unit. I think it's like 10 kilos maybe or so. It looks fairly big. It looks fairly big. Oh, 11 kilos even. Awesome. Good cash. Yeah. How's it going, guys? It's me again, getting spooled. You know, this is like a common theme right now going on on Oldberg. I'm not getting spooled too hard, but I'm still getting spooled once again. I think this could be another sign of a grass carp, which I'm not mad about. So let's skip forward and I'll show you the fish. Okay, buddy, you have met your fate. You will be sold on the market. So let's get you in the net. I think I should have been quiet and not said anything to him because uh, he collected the last resources of energy and just the started going but i think we can still get it in without a problem and something is really like in the bait on my other rod as well come on just give up mate you were almost in the net already anyways why fight oh that's almost a 15 kilo fish what the heck so somebody from the same spot where I was caught a trophy grass carp on 20 mil boppa polis, banana flavored and cream corn. So I'm going to get these and let's see, maybe we can get ourselves a trophy as well. Also for the game plan, I'm planning to use two rods for carp fishing and one rod for gibble and crucian fishing because I still need the crucian trophy and maybe we can get that in the same time as well. So we have the target species on, we have a crucian carp on cottage cheese and this is actually a nice specimen, 800 grams. I'm also hoping to get some taint on cottage cheese let's make some more ground bait because i'm actually running out this is uh the bait that people usually have like left over in the inventory and loads of it i don't know why but every time when I have my rigs in, let's say I have two boiling rigs in and then one rod with regular bait, I tend to not get almost any bites on the boiling rigs, but I still keep getting a lot of bites on the regular rods. Like by regular rod, I mean the feeder rod. And I'm also not using a Fortuna carp rod, but Fortuna feeder rod right now. And we have a nice common carp on, which I'm not complaining about, but why not bite the boilies, mate? I think I can reach it with a net. Yeah, almost 10 kilos again. Fish size is so nice here. Time to trade our fish again for some coins. We have a Crash Carp Cafe order for 38 silver and the rest of the keep net is surprisingly worth 158 silver. So in total we made 196 silver. We are like literally making so much money right now by mostly being AFK because the bite rate is terrible. Oh, they are teasing me. 1.8 is a trophy size, but hey, Sweet Dough is working and doing wonders. I've had more than one Crucian Carp on Sweet Dough and no other carp right now, which is a good sign. Also, I switched my baits once again. I did like a whole mix up. I have cream pop up boilies, lemon pop up boilies, and lemon dip on right now. And I mean, I'm getting fish, so maybe it's shit, maybe it's not. I mean, it's working. It ain't stupid if it's working. Well, I mean, this could be a stupid idea, me throwing ground bait in like this, but maybe it works. <laughs> I don't know. And would you look at that? Another nice gibble carp trophy. Once again, I think the lemon pop up boilies is what is attracting them, but two kilos 
so this is a nice Gible Carp trophy. I wish this was a Crucian Carp, but none of the less, it was still an awesome fish, and I love getting every single trophy. Time to sell some goods once again. We have a Crucian Carp Cafe order for 9 silver, and by the way, look at all of these Crucians. And our keep net is worth 174 silver, so in total, we made 183 silver for AF King once again. It is game plan time. You know, we can't use PVA bags, so I have a plan. What if I just make a regular ground bait and throw it in like we saw before? Will it work or not? I guess we'll see. But this means we need to spend a ton of money. We need pellets, boilies, a boilie crusher to make the bait that I actually want to. So let's get to it. No boilie crusher on Oldberg, so let's hop the water bodies. Anyways, I went through all the shops, but Volkov always helps you out and Volkov has it in the stock, so let's buy it. It's fairly expensive, but it is super useful. So to find all these things, it took me way longer than I'd like to admit, but here it is. This is the secret recipe. We have for the base, corn flour, additives, 7 mil banana feed pellets, 10 mil crushed sweet banana boilies, 12 mil banana feed pellets, 40 mil banana boilies, and smart banana boilies attractant. This seems kind of tasty, not gonna lie. Even though I hate artificial banana, it sucks. So we will be fishing on the same spot, but switch our hook bait. We will use 26 and 14 mil banana pop-up boilies with the cocos nectar tip. All of this money and time spent was actually worth it. I think we have a fish on right now. Oh yeah, we do. Doesn't seem that big, so I really hope that making all the ground bait and also spending all that money plus time wasn't just for nothing. But let's see, this seems like a crash carp, which is a good sign. Oh yeah, 7 kilos, definitely a good sign. 7 kilo carp, yeah, I'll take it any time of the day. Well, I guess something at least is working because, uh, yeah, as you can see, it's not on the bobo polis or the carp rig, but actually on a sweet though. I did throw in the ground bait though, like manually, so maybe I got some nearby this rig as well. But it seems like another grass carp because it is fighting extremely hard and it has the zoomies, you know, they just like to go crazy. But if this is a grass carp, probably a pretty decent one. If it's a common, it's a fairly big common, I think. Oh yeah, it is a grass carp. Look at this guy just coming in right now. It's uh, bigger than the previous fish we actually caught. Huh, that's surprising. On a sweet though, though. Why? Yeah, 10 kilos, almost 11 kilos, definitely bigger fish. Getting these fish in on the Fortuna carp rod and the nice reel, it's like super easy. There's like no trouble at all. And as I said, I lose a fish. I should stop being cocky. But yeah, being overly confident as you saw in the last clip is never a good thing, I guess, because I lost a fish right at the shore, which is super unlucky. And I think it was another like maybe five to eight kilo grass carp, which was good amount of money. But anyways, we have a nice fish on. As you can see, it's uh, quite a bit later now. It's getting dark, or actually it is dark already. And this seems like a nice common carp because it is super slow compared to the other bites that you have when the grass carp is on. And as I said, it is a common carp, so it doesn't seem like super big, but oh, actually it's almost nine kilos. I thought it looked like a five kilo common. Ha, huh, odd. I need to start spending some points. I really don't know where to put them, but I think in a pop-up rig is a good option because we will use it a lot. So I think maxing it out is a good thing. And the same goes with the classic hair rig because this is like the most common rig you should use, I think. So we still have five points left. I wonder where to put them. If you have any good ideas, just let me know. All right, we've actually hooked into a big one this fish is no joke anymore and it happened after i put my points into skills so i think it was well worth it and if this is a trophy then what the heck have i been doing the whole time without spending my points because i think spending the points gives you a slight edge on getting the trophies but i don't remember exactly maybe it was just to control the fish better but who knows I guess we can check later. But this fish is putting on a good fight, I think. This is another grass carp, and this is not a tiny one. Maybe we'll have something that is even close to a trophy size. I have no clue because I've never probably caught a fish as big as this one. Even though I think my record right now is 18 or 19 kilo grass carp, which I actually caught on the Fortuna feeder rod. But that was a whole another story. I caught it actually from the same spot where we are right now. But I had to walk the fish to the other side of the lake, and then still... I couldn't get it in. It took me like, I don't remember exactly, but maybe like 20, 30 minutes in real life time. But it was pretty much the whole day in game to tire it out. And still at the end, it wasn't like completely tired out. 
But yeah, this thing is just running. It is showing no signs of stopping, as you can see. It is just going and going. Oh, I almost just broke my line. Well, that was a close call. Quite some time later, and we are actually getting the fish in finally. And this is a behemoth, so I can tell you that for sure. Not a trophy, but still a behemoth of a fish. And it is a grass carp. And this is definitely the biggest fish we've had so far in this video. I'm actually so happy about making it all the ground bait and so on, because this fight was absolutely insane well it's still a fight because it's still going on i don't want to say anything before i have the fish in the net because otherwise i might lose it again okay let's net it yes 18 kilos that is almost my new personal best and also we got to level 23 which unlocks us absolutely nothing but hey with 24 we got a new leg no way my recorder was not working and i actually saw the fish and i think you can see now as well it is a black carp and this is a big in this is such a huge black carp i've never had a black carp as big as this one before 14 kilos and almost 30,000 exp imagine if you had prem and the happy hour that's like 90,000 exp another nice fish is on but i'm still thinking about the black carp because i kind of want to go and sell it and see how much is it worth because i think it's worth a lot of money but this common right now it is a beauty it is a big fish once again i have actually been so lucky on this spot and it's been such a fun time 13 kilo common we we have a common carp cafe order for 45 silver and the rest of the keep net is worth 135 silver so in total we made 180 silver this black carp is worth 41 silver which is a nice pile of coins let's actually waste some more money and make some new ground bait this ground bait is for tench and carp this is based on some cocoa and cream stuff so you can see it on the screen if you want to try it out try it out you will see in a few minutes if it works or not because i actually have no clue oh 80 0.1%. So yeah, hey, this is me once again, throwing away my money as you can see. Anyways, this wasn't too expensive compared to the banana bait, so it is totally fine. I think I'll throw in like 10 balls or so. I think it should work. I don't think you can overbait in the game, but if you can, then oh, then please tell me. I need to know. Finally, we have a bite. It's been so long. I've been here, I don't know how long without like a single bite. Hopefully this will turn around. And this fish seems like another decent fish. Definitely grass carp, you can see it. Seems like at this spot right now like seven kilo grass carps are just a common thing to get and as i've said it it is a seven kilo grass carp what a nice weather oh somebody's trying to yoink my rod not today buddy i'm actually going to yoink you in my net and sell you to the fish stall eight kilos though lovely i don't know about you guys but i just love reeling in crucian and gibble carp i just saw the fish earlier so i'm just telling you what it is but yeah these fish are so iconic in the game and i just love catching them every single time what is this fish i was afk came back and i have something on and it feels like a rock i can't do anything against it like literally anything and it it is not stuck because the game would tell me if it's snagged it is not snagged as well so what is on the other side maybe the fish is somehow stuck let's see maybe we can pull it out from this side but i don't think so well this is one of the weirdest things that has happened to me in this game and trust me if i say weird and weirdest i have climbed trees in this game but this is super odd i've never seen anything like this before there is nothing that a little reload can fix and look at this tench this is a decent one i've actually waited for this for so long i've had only like one or two tench in the whole episode and we have a crucian carp on but definitely close to trophy but not a trophy so yeah crucians why do you keep teasing me and bang a nine kilo crash carp uh, why let's see how much money did we make so we have a tench cafe order for 15 silver and the rest of the keep net is worth 196 silver so in total we made 211 silver that is a pretty good amount of cash if you ask me so the new spot i'm fishing at right now is at 60 14 i use clip size 8 hook size 1 and for the bait night crawlers why i'm here fishing with night crawlers is because somebody said they caught a carp trophy here on night crawlers Ooh. Well, this is not the carp trophy I was talking about, but here we go, a Crucian Carp Trophy. This is a new unique trophy unlocked on Oldberg Lake, which is super cool. We have another slot filled in, and I can't be more happy about it. 1.9 kilos, so barely a trophy, but it is a trophy at the end of the day. I think I'll spin the wheel one more time for one more fish and one more trophy, and let's see what we will get. Volkov River? 
Well, I think I know a spot over there. I wish I could ride the bicycle, but unfortunately you can't. It seems like we are stuck here, so we still need to go and rent a boat. This game is just stealing my money. So the new spot I'm fishing at right now is at 147.22. I use clip size 17, hook size 22, and for the bait, I have red worms and blood worms. If you want to know why am I fishing this spot, it is because this is a multi-spot, and from this spot, you can expect to get either a gudgeon or a rough trophy. And the rough trophy is something that we actually need on Volkov River so I would be more than happy to get that out of the way. Well seems like everything is going according to the plan because the first fish we've caught is a rough and on a piece of bloodworm and the second fish is a gushin which is also a fish we're going after so this is going so good and another one. The average size over here for rough is not the best, so definitely not a spot where you make like a ton of money. But still, this was a nice 70 gram rough, so you can't complain too much. I like this lamp so much like the best purchase I've made. Okay, this rough is a tank. Yeah, 102 grams. This definitely is a tank already. It seems like the bite rate is getting a lot better, but the wind is super bad, so that kind of sucks. But yeah, another tank, 109 grams. Our first river mussel. And this actually gave us potom fishing points. Huh, that is cool. And you know, you can't catch a river mussel without a zebra mussel. So there it is, a zebra mussel. Plus 121 gram rough. So that is a good sign. We're only 19 grams off the trophy side and I think we can hit it today or maybe tomorrow or maybe in the next following days but who knows well it did not take us so uh, two days three days not even a one day because we have already caught a trophy rough 145 grams and another trophy unlocked on Volkov River so this episode has been actually super good two new trophies and you can't be more happy about these now for the next episode let's hope we actually get winding rivulet because i want to finish off winding but if the wheel decides differently then we have to go do a different body of water let's see how much is the keep net worth it is worth 100 silver and the trophy off is worth surprisingly a lot of money i did not remember these fish being so expensive i hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you did please leave a like and comment down below if i helped you with something or maybe you can help me with something but anyways take care bye bye